I've been intrigued by the Iron Man game mode for a while now and figured it was about time I gave it a shot. Iron Man mode is a restricted game mode for RuneScape that was first released in October 2014 in conjunction with Ultimate Iron Man mode, which was designed solely for psychopaths, so we may explore that later. Hardcore Iron Man mode was later released in November 2016 for those who felt that they were up to the Iron Man mode challenge but with an added twist. Not only would they have to spend days on end grinding for supplies due to the trade restrictions implemented on their account, but if they were to die, they would leave their eternal mark on the high scores for everyone to laugh about and be reverted to a standard Iron Man account. The ultimate goal of the account is to obtain a max cape, but I'll be setting myself some more achievable goals along the way to avoid getting burnt out and just to make things more interesting. I don't really have much of a plan, considering I've never played an Iron Man and I know literally nothing about playing the game efficiently, but first things first, we're going to go down to Barbarian Village in the Stronghold of Security and grab the 10k reward for completing it. Sometimes my level of intelligence amazes me. I managed to run through the whole of the stronghold, walk back to Lumbridge and do most of Cook's assistant before realising I had my recorder turned off. So I'd just been talking to myself for a solid 15 minutes for literally no reason. But anyway, we're, um, we're back in Lumbridge, as Cook's assistant done with five cooking, happy days. Now we're just gonna get a few more low level quests done for some quick and easy gains. I'm going to quickly get five thieving so I can thieve cakes. Since these heal 12 per inventory slot, they will be my best in slot, easily obtainable food for some time. And if I want to minimalize my risk of dying, I'm going to need food. And there is five thieving. I'm now going to go and start Imp Catcher. I think the last time I manually collected the beads was 15 years ago, and my recollection of it was not exactly what I'd call fun. One eternity later. Ah, right, I'm glad that's finally done. I did stop off in between and do Rune Mysteries, because there's only so much continuous massacring of imps that a man can do before he goes insane. Um... I won't be recording every single quest that I do. I'm probably going to speed speed run through the through the next ones. Um, you can go and watch by release if you want that sort of content. So yeah, on to the next quests. Completed. 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 The pinnacle moment in all hardcore Iron Man accounts. Witch's house completed. Now, substantially less chance of getting one banged with 25 hit points. Hello there. How can I have played this game for this many years and only now be learning that this guy's name is Cake Mix? But that is Druidic Ritual completed and access to the Herbal Ore skill obtained. So we get three Herbal Ore for completing it, and I'm going to use the other lamp I got from Client of Current on Herbal Ore as well. And just like that, we're seven Herbal Ore. And now I'm going to head over to Ardoin, not only to do Plague City and Biohazard, but to complete the easy achievement diary as well. Completing this will reward me with the Ardi Cloak 1, which provides unlimited teleports to the monastery, an XP lamp, and double death runes when trading cats in in West Ardoin. Right, we told the king about his fake plague, so now I can just finish off the achievement diary and go and find two pints. There she is, stupid drunk ass bitch. Give me my cape. Oh yeah, there it is. Now we have a bit of a problem with this XP lamp because you can only use it in skills over level 30. Um, I think I'm going to end up being forced to use it in woodcutting. I mean, ideally I'd like to put it in herb lore, but I'm not holding onto it for that long. It is what it is. But now I get to use my teleport to the monastery. Look at that. Here we go, boys. Right, okay, so plan of action is I'm going to go and burn some more logs, get that to 50, and head off to Winter Todd. 
Now, for those of you who don't understand how winter tod works, allow me to explain. So you gotta cut this weird looking tree stump to get some logs, fletch that into kindling, get hit 11 billion times whilst trying to fletch it into kindling, and then throw it all on the big bonfire in the corner. Oh, and one more thing, I nearly forgot. It is absolute dog shit. So with that in mind, I went to go and find a guy who really knew how to party, and it definitely had nothing at all to do with the eight law runes that he was going to give me for returning his child's blanket to him. If you guys like what you've seen already, then please do me a favour and just leave, leave a little comment in the, in the comment section down below. Just let me know what, what I can improve on, what you've enjoyed. I'm still kind of learning my style as a content creator, so any feedback is going to help me out greatly. Anyway, let's get back to it. The joys of an Iron Man. I've just collected a thousand of each soda ash and buckets of sand, so that's going to help with the crafting grind later on. I'm now going to head over to the ZMI altar and see if I can get my hands on a Arun scimitar before finishing off Waterfall Quest. Let's go get it. Bro, that was only like 12 kills or something. Well, I guess I'll just go get Waterfall Quest done now then. Make sure we use the urn on the chalice. Oh yeah, look at that XP drop. Oh, big boy gains. The uh, combat stats are coming along quite nicely now. The Grand Tree have been completed. Look at the size of this dude's chin. Look, look at it. That is one heckin' strong jawline. Right, I want to work on getting Dragon Slayer done this episode, so I'm going to need a little bit better food. I'm going to do Jungle Potion, Shallow Village, and Tybo One Eye Trio, so that way I can fish Karambuans myself, and that's going to be more than sufficient. Or at least I hope it is. Shiloh Village has been completed, 3,800 crafting XP. So I can now make sapphire necklaces, which I can then turn into games necklaces, which is going to give me some nice little quick teleports around the game, but mainly for Winter Todd, because it's a pain in the ass to get to, and I'm going to be doing it a lot, unfortunately. Now I do have a slight problem with completing Tybo when I trio, because you need an agility potion, and I do not yet have the herb lore level to create one, but you can get one from a Dr. Jekyll random event. However, in order to get one from the random event, you do need to have a clean irrit leaf in your inventory at the time of the event. This again imposes a problem because irrit leaves cannot be cleaned until 40 herbalore. However, there is in fact an NPC in the desert that will clean your herbs for you for 200 coins each, regardless of your level. So let's go get it. Right, well, I got up to the bit in Tybo 1R where you can actually fish Karamb ones. Um, I have over a thousand of these now, which is nice. Um, I haven't had our Dr. Jekyll random event yet, so I've still got that here. Um, can't actually cook them until we've got that quest done. So I'm going to keep that on me, and I'm going to go and do the Holy Grail now, because I'm in dire need of some defense levels, and some prayer would be nice as well, to be fair and that's probably the quickest way to go about doing it. I have retrieved the grail, good sir. Oh yeah. Mad XP gains. 31 defense and 31 prayer. Fucking sick. Absolute tank of a man now. Um, Still haven't got a fucking random event though, so I'm going to go and do... I'll go and do something else. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go and do something else. And who is this fine specimen of a man we've got here? I just so happen to have the herb you need. Would you believe it? Oh, thank God for that. It has been literal days to get that. I'm gonna go put that in the bank before I end up drinking it like a fucking dickhead. Um finish off this Christmas event and then um, 
go and finish Typo Wenoi. And then I think I'm just about ready to make a start on Dragon Slayer. And there it is, the moment I've been waiting for. Right, now I just need to go and talk to the three brothers to unlock the ability to cook ground ones, and then I'm going to make my way over to Hosidius, get 100% favour, and make a start on cooking them. Look at this handsome fellow with his blue party hat. Right, so I'm just finishing off these saltpeter buckets. Um, nearly ready to hand them all in now. And I've actually managed to get, there you go, 14 farming from this as well. So we're going to hand all these buckets in, that's going to give us 100% favour, and then cook up some of my karumb ones. Hosidious Kitchen has been unlocked, boys. Yeah, nice try, Jagex, selecting poison by default. You ain't catching me that, that easily. So I'm going to sit here and cook up maybe a hundred or so of these. Don't want to be burning that many of them, so I'm going to save up the rest for later when I've got higher cooking. Right, this is going to bring me up to 160 Karam ones in total. That's going to be more than enough to keep us going for a while. I'm going to now work on uh, finishing off the last of the free-to-play quests I've got to do, and then we're going to get Dragon Slayer done. Look at this absolute unit. You ain't scared of shit. Which is a good job because there's only one quest left on the free-to-play quest line, and that is Dragon Slayer. Chill out, dude. Slut. Okay, that's slut. You, you don't have slut. to shame Ow. you. Shame Ow. you. Slut. Oh yeah, Elvog the dirty little slut dragon hath been slain. Dragon Slayer has been completed. That is a massive boost in defense, and we can equip a rune plate body. But I'm not going to be buying one just yet. I've got a different idea up my sleeve. Well, that about sums it up for this video. If you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please leave a like and a comment down below about what you did like, what I can improve on, and consider subscribing. I've got big plans for this account and a couple of other projects I've got in mind for the channel as well. So hopefully, I'll see you around.